It has been two years since mass murderer Omar Mateen killed 49 people at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson reports today's remembrance brought tears and reflection. The Pulse nightclub was once one of the most popular venues in Orlando for the LGBT community. But since the night of June 12, 2016, it's been closed and now serves as a memorial for the 49 people who were murdered here and 53 others who were wounded, including four from the Tampa Bay area. These images are now seared into the memory of the Orlando community and those who are here the night of the shooting. Today, dozens came out to remember, including Florida Governor Rick Scott, who brought flowers to pay respects. For Matthew Goodpaster, the events that happened here are far more personal. I haven't been here since it happened. Goodpaster wasn't at Pulse the night of the shooting, but many of his friends were. My roommate used to work here, and thank God he was off that night. And one of my coworkers was a singer at House of Blues, and he worked here. And we went into work that morning, and he didn't show up. For Goodpaster and many others, there is some comfort in the fact that the nightclub itself has not been torn down. But for him, coming here is not easy. It's taken me a long time to come here, and it still hurts. It's been two years, and I still can't believe this happened in this city. There are photos of the people murdered here that tell their story. There are places for people to write their thoughts. For good, Pastor, that means something. Because we'll never forget. We'll always remember. I'm sorry. For some, the memory is as fresh as yesterday. In Orlando, Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8. And News Channel 8 is remembering the victims of the Pulse tragedy. You can go to WFLA.com right now to see a photo gallery dedicated to them. If you click on a picture, you can read each of their stories.